G'day folks, welcome back to the channel. This is a very quick vid on... I received a question from one of the people that, that watch the channel and, and she wanted to know what is the best rod and reel for her to buy starting out bait fishing. And I put some thought into it before I replied and I replied, LV reel and a nine foot fiberglass or composite rod equivalent to about a full wrap. The reason that's what this video is about. Make sure if you get anything out of this video, hit that like button, comment for me, ask any questions. That helps me with the next vid. And um, if you want to support the channel, subscribe or go to the Patreon link below, click it, shout me a copy. Now your two main reels are spinning reels and LV reels. I've gone for the LV reel as a first reel to start out with and the reason I've done that it covers everything from beach right through to uh, every application you can do on land whether it be rock, estuary or, or river. The LV reel is so hardy. I've got LV reels at home that are 45 years old and they're still as good today as they were 45 years ago. LV reel is a little bit more I won't say difficult, I'll say technical. The only reason it's technical is when you wind a spinner, you don't have to hold the line. It'll, it'll wind onto the spool quite easily. You don't have to worry about tangles. When you wind an LV, you have to feed the LV line back onto the reel. Now, you can get away with not doing it sometimes, but you're more chance of getting tangles if you don't assist the line back onto the reel. So it means running the line over a finger. That's the only little bit of technical bit there is apart from casting and casting is easy once you've done it two or three times so we won't go into casting today but LV reel is definitely my pick um, it'll be good for every application the size of the LV reel if you're going a nine foot rod I'd stick with a probably a 55 C uh, if you're going a ten and a half eleven foot rod I'd go to the 600 make sure they're narrow spools and shallow spools so nice and light and you'll be able to hold the rod all day long or as long as that you're going to be fishing in that session quite comfortably the moment you start getting a big rod to hold lots of line you're going to be uncomfortable i think first for for somebody starting out and on those type of rods you need to stay with the the, the shallow spools and the skinny spools now if you're adamant you don't want to use an LV and you want to use a spinner any spinner between a 3000 and a 4000 will do i'd stick with spinners around a hundred dollars or less if you're going to, especially if you're going to spend a lot of time on the beach because you'll just find the moment you get a bit of sand in it and it starts clicking and grinding and it's going to die whereas an LV you can pretty much demoralize an LV you can throw it in the surf you can throw it on the sand you go home and you wash it out and, and it's as good as new next time you next time you want to take it to the beach and use it whereas a spinner won't be exactly like that it'll die a lot quicker well that's my selection nice quick video it's only a few minutes long and it's only because of a comment that came through so make sure you comment if you want me to answer any of your questions and i'll try and get one of these vids done just for you hit that like button for me assist the channel with the subscription or go to the patreon link below shout me a coffee take care until next vid that's a gang of one hour hooks on this so needs to be close to a legal brim or better to be able to actually mount this one quite big hooks especially for daytime fishing that's what you need for the flathead and uh, any 27 28 centimeter brim onwards is easily going to engulf a one o hook so don't be afraid to use slightly bigger hooks That's a nice fish.
no pick and no bite and just took it and bolted. Flat? Not a flatty, it's a brim. Probably 30 centimetres just, 29, 30 centimetres. Nice brim. You see he's absolutely made a meal of that. But just a quick chat about the gear I'm using. I'll start with the LV. It's a uh, 625B fiberglass spool. See it's a metal back, the sort that I prefer. Um, it's spool with 9 pound moi moi line. The rod is a uh, uh, handmade rod made by uh, a place called Rod Design. John Pope made a mine owns rod design and makes an exceptional rod. The rig I'm using at the moment is the uh, the double one O's and uh, that's the gear. But whenever I'm bait fishing this sort of fishing I use an LV and the reason I use an LV is so I can uh, just plop it down pretty much anywhere. Doesn't matter what you do with it. Can't kill these things with a stick. Just take it home, rinse it off in, in um, fresh water and it's fine. It is completely different fishing with an LV obviously than fishing with a spinner reel. It, um, it, it is a different set of skills but they're not hard. It really isn't. A couple of hours fishing with an LV and you'll be an expert. Nice broom. Honey goes 32. So we will let this fella go. Oh, the best things about the old LV, you can chuck it in the mud, you can chuck it in the sand, you just wash it off. And it's back to new. Can't do that with the yellow spinners. Can I see if there's a bigger brim out here? Give it another whirl. Only fishing in about a foot and a half of water here, for two feet. Low tide across here. Very shallow. Good fish on the brim. A uh, good thing about these rods, they take what you lose on the drag on a. Uh... Oh, it's got brim falling in with it. Another absolute stumper. We go 34, 35 this one. <sighs> Come on, settle down, mate. <sighs> 33. Oh, thump and brim, mate. 